In today's Medical Minute, we are talking about mental health and our kids. A new study shows emergency rooms have been seeing an increase of children and teens having suicidal thoughts. We would classify it as, a, as an epidemic, honestly. I mean, it's a, it's a mental health crisis. A study published in the journal Pediatrics looked at data from hospitals in Illinois from 2016 to 2021. It shows emergency department visits for suicidal thoughts increased 59% in that time period for teens and children as young as five. But the spike started its rise before COVID-19 shut down schools. It was a drastic increase in emergency department visits among youth of all age groups um, back in 2019, so way before the pandemic started. Dr. Brewer says the biggest concern is suicidal ideation. Suicidal ideation is the thoughts of, of wanting to potentially commit suicide. Not actually the, the act in it, but it's the thoughts of wanting to commit suicide. Researchers say the culprit is the growing prevalence of depression, anxiety, and severe mental illness. In Texas, from 2016 to 2020, children ages 3 to 17 who had or reported having anxiety or depression to a doctor increased by about 24 percent. But between the pressure of school, social media, family, neglect or abuse, researchers say they can't put all the blame on the pandemic. We need to be able to provide more resources for kids in the outpatient setting, um, resources whether it's in the school system or different community-based organizations. We need to develop more policies to really help and support our kids as well as their families. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of self-harm, seek help. You can find more information about 988, the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline, on our website, CW39.com. You're watching CW39 Houston, no wait weather and traffic.